connection with Britain and things that are British is extremely strong. If you're an English-speaking person, it's the home of so much of what seems to be part of your culture. That year that I spent in England profoundly changed the course of my professional career. Really, the City of London is the center of global finance. I knew that London was such a wonderful city for music. In fact, I think the best in the world. I was learning to become an anthropologist, but I was also learning how to become a citizen of the world. Studying in the UK can seriously change the course of your life. In this film, some influential Canadians talk about what they got from their time in the UK. The UK, from a Canadian perspective, is perhaps culturally the closest cousin that we have. But at the same time, there's enough cultural difference there that you definitely feel like you're arriving in a foreign country when you first get there. It was really only when I came to study as a Commonwealth scholar that I fully understood uh, the country, um, uh, its richness, um, and certainly the educational experience was uh, remarkable. My experience in the city helped develop an appreciation for the strengths and the limits of markets and also that global, more cosmopolitan outlook that's, in my opinion, uh, essential to uh, succeed in today's world. It was because of my time at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine that I was offered the opportunity to volunteer with UNICEF in Somalia. And that experience, which ended up becoming my master's thesis, set me on a course to work in different war zones around the world, and which ultimately led me to start the organization War Child. I had come here for summer courses every year since the age of 15. I had done one uh, when I was 12 years old, actually through the Royal Academy of Music in London. And Sir Simon Rattle, conductor of the Billiard and Philharmonic, was one of the other students in that course. As a Canadian international, I had reached the top of the game in Canada. It was only by going to the UK that I was allowed to be exposed to better players, better competition, and I really learned a lot about the game. He realizes that we're pretty close to stealing this ball. The so history of England and Canada, whether it's through sport, whether it's through culture, is ongoing, and I think there's a real, um, to use a rugby term, a camaraderie there. I went to Cambridge University for my PhD. It was so rewarding in terms of understanding a different culture and as much culture shock going to Britain initially as it was to Ghana. It's a wonderfully spiritual feeling uh, as well as an artistic one to be inheritors, if only for a small amount of time, of a tradition which is much greater than we are, much longer than we could possibly live and will certainly exceed our lifespans writing, theater, film, anything where the language is at the center of it, then that link to England is always going to be extremely important. It's almost one of the essences of study in those areas. There's direct and very strong intellectual ties between the great universities in our two countries, and I was fortunate to benefit from that uh, through the, uh, by the grace of the British Council.